Importance of Asset Allocation So you've got a bunch of pretty Easter eggs all in one basket. Now imagine you drop that basket. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. That's why the famous proverb don't put all your eggs in one basket. Well, asset allocation is just that. It diversifies an individual's investments among different asset classes to help reduce investment risk. Put simply, it's the practice of spreading a person's savings across many instruments like cash, equities, bonds, real estate, gold, etc. to make sure that the investments are not at the mercy of the performance of any one asset class. Let's make this easier. Imagine a store that specializes in selling winter clothes. It sells all kinds of jackets, boots, scarves, gloves and even winter gear like ice skates and skis. It's pretty famous for its winter wear and does great business beginning around the winter season every year. Problem is, come summer, the store is doing zero business. Now, imagine the store decides to expand its range of products. They open a section that sells all kinds of clothes and shoes that can be worn even in warmer weather. They even begin to sell regular roller skates and skateboards and other accessories. Now the store starts doing well in winter and summer. And that's not all. Now that they're expanding, the store opens a department that sells only books and another that sells electronics and gadgets and one for furniture and one for groceries. Suddenly, this tiny little winter store has grown to an entire department store that does great business all year round. Earlier, all of the store's business depended on winter and the hope that no competition came up around it. But with a department store that sells all kinds of products, business now continues to run, come rain or shine and with much lower risks. Well said. Just like that, asset allocation provides a massive benefit that people don't often appreciate. That is the benefit of lowering risk. Risk is easy to understand. It's the possibility of there being multiple outcomes and often those that we have no control over. And there are many ways to measure risks, not just in terms of returns. Lack of liquidity is one kind of risk, as is the risk of a borrower or issuer defaulting. An investor can even face an opportunity risk by losing out on better returns elsewhere. Time to illustrate again. Suppose you have rupees 1 lakh of which you invest rupees 50,000 in company fixed deposit and the balance in gold. When you do need some money, you could face multiple problems. Prematurely encashing such a deposit could attract a penalty. Also, what if the company hasn't paid you the interest on time or hasn't paid it at all. Even the sudden drop in gold prices could affect your investment drastically, making it lose value. So many things could go wrong. On the other hand, consider this. You divide your investments more wisely in bank deposits, gold, mutual funds, company fixed deposits and a savings bank account. Now in the event of gold prices falling, the downside is restricted to a smaller investment amount and for any sudden money requirements, you have a savings account that is easily accessible. Yeah, it's that simple. Asset allocation basically involves deciding what percentage of investable funds is to be invested in different asset classes. Because different asset classes perform differently, asset allocation is of utmost importance and is key to determining your overall investment performance. In fact, just like the story of the department store, asset allocation works best when asset classes that move in opposite directions are combined by lowering the fluctuations in the investment returns. Because when one asset class underperforms, the other often compensates for it. So plan wisely and use asset allocation to diversify risk among different asset classes and generate stable returns over your investment period. Remember, different baskets, safer eggs. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Watch more and we'll help you learn about different investing concepts. You can also write to us with your feedback at editor at templeton.com. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. 
Read all scheme-related documents carefully.